Two and a half million years ago, at the heart of Andromeda, a massive star reaches the end of its life cycle. A supernova explosion hurls trillions of tons of scorching plasma into space, obliterating nearby planets and satellites. A powerful electromagnetic pulse races outward, destined to reach Earth millions of years later. 1885, Earth. Astronomers around the world observe an unusually bright flare in the Andromeda constellation. For a brief moment, its light outshines the nearest stars. This supernova, named S. Andromedae, remains a mystery to scientists for years. Just six months later, it fades and disappears from the night sky. It's important to note that at the time, astronomy lacked the means to measure cosmic distances. Andromeda, object M31, was thought to be just a nebula at the edge of the Milky Way. Only in the 1920s, thanks to Edwin Hubble's observations, did it become clear that Andromeda is a separate galaxy, comparable to our own. Today we know that Andromeda is a spiral galaxy containing about a trillion stars. Its diameter exceeds 150,000 light-years, and its mass is estimated between 800 billion and 1.5 trillion solar masses. With an abundance of red dwarfs and relatively little dark matter, it closely resembles the Milky Way. At Andromeda's core lies a brilliant nucleus packed with millions of stars. Their density is so great that their light blends into a single dazzling glow. For decades, the remnants of S. Andromeda were undetectable. But in 1988, scientists discovered a nebula which, through spectral analysis, was confirmed as the remnant of that very supernova. A double nucleus, a puzzle for scientists. Andromeda is unique for its double nucleus. The larger, brighter part is a star cluster about seven light years across, slightly offset from the center. The smaller, dimmer core likely conceals a supermassive black hole with 50 million times the sun's mass. Scientists still debate whether this structure is the result of a galactic merger or simply an optical effect caused by a dust lane. Unusual stellar systems. Near the core lies a unique object, a binary system with a neutron star and a red giant. Almost invisible in optical telescopes, it becomes the galaxy's brightest point in X-rays. The neutron star spins every three seconds, and the two objects orbit each other every four hours. Evidence suggests the neutron star is gradually pulling material from its companion, eventually forming a bright ring-like nebula. Structure and Spiral Arms in the central bulge, about 12,000 light-years across, roughly 30% of Andromeda's mass is concentrated. The galaxy also features a bar structure about 17,000 light-years long, which is almost invisible from Earth. From the ends of the bar emerge two giant spiral arms, between which stretch dark gaps as wide as 13,000 light-years. The arms hold about 56% of the galaxy's mass and serve as nurseries for new stars. Young Stars and Giants Among them is a Andromeda, a massive blue giant with a mass of up to 120 suns. Its surface temperature is around 20,000 K, and its luminosity is 500,000 to 700,000 times greater than that of the Sun. The star is highly unstable, periodically unleashing plasma outbursts that amplify its brightness manyfold. In about a million years, it is expected to explode as a supernova, leaving behind a black hole. Galactic Formation History The oldest stars, 11 to 13 billion years old, are concentrated in the core, while the disk and spiral arms host younger stars, around 3 to 4 billion years old. Some regions are still stellar nurseries. Andromeda also helps define the hypothetical galactic habitable zone. The center is too radiation intense, the periphery lacks heavy elements, and the intermediate zone offers the most promising conditions. Potential Exoplanets The red giant Mega ML7 drew particular attention after 1999, when gravitational microlensing observations revealed potential deviations in its trajectory, possible evidence of a massive companion. If confirmed, the hypothetical exoplanet Mega ML7b, about 6.3 times Jupiter's mass, would be the first exoplanet ever discovered beyond the Milky Way. Clusters and Past Collisions 
Andromeda hosts around 460 globular clusters and 10,000 open clusters. One standout is NGC 206, a massive star association weighing about 200,000 solar masses. It formed after two gas and dust nebulae merged. Many clusters are remnants of ancient cosmic collisions. A notable example is M32. Once a larger galaxy, it collided with Andromeda 800 million years ago, losing much of its mass and leaving behind a compact object with a supermassive black hole. The galactic future, Andromeda has about 30 known satellite galaxies. It belongs to the local group, along with the Milky Way and the Triangulum Galaxy. Gravitational forces are pulling Andromeda toward us at 300 kilometers per second. In a few billion years, the two galaxies will merge, forming a giant elliptical galaxy. By then, the Sun will be nearing the end of its life, and what will become of humanity remains an open question. Will we populate distant worlds, or will we vanish without a trace?